The Contram system consists of completely non-interacting electrons, whereas within the many-body system, the electrons experience the Coulomb interaction. The Contram system is defined to have the exact same electron density as the many-body system. Then the many-body system and the Contram system each consist of just one electron. They are identical. When an electron is added to the many-body system, the electrons are repelled by each other. Within the Kuhn-Sham system, in order for the non-interacting density to reproduce the effects of the Coulomb interaction, the external potential changes. This potential is called the Kuhn-Sham potential, and it's responsible for ensuring the non-interacting density is equal to the many-body density. As more electrons are added, the number of interactions within the many-body system increases, while the Kuhn-Sham potential continues to adapt in order to ensure that the non-interacting density equals the many-body density. As the Kuhn-Sham system is fully non-interacting, the computational cost of modelling the system increases linearly with the number of electrons, while the many-body system scales exponentially with the number of electrons. Although the electron density of the exact Kuhn-Sham system is defined to be that of the many-body system, the other properties of the Kuhn-Sham system do not necessarily correspond to many-body observables. Kuhn-Sham theory is therefore extremely computationally efficient, but can it be used to obtain many-body excitation energies? First, we need to determine if there is a relationship between a certain many-body excitation energy and the corresponding quantity in the Kuhn-Sham system. Then, we must capture this relationship within a density functional approximation. It is well known that one can, at least in principle, obtain the fundamental gap, or band gap, from the Kuhn-Sham system. The exact Kuhn-Sham potential experiences a discontinuous, spatially constant shift, delta Bg, when the system's electron number infinitesimally surpasses an integer, first proposed by John Perdue and co-workers. So, can an approximation capture this shift in the Kuhn-Sham potential in order to allow the gap to be obtained directly from the Kuhn-Sham system? We took the commonly used local density approximation and constrained the Kuhn-Sham potential by defining a charge density, rho. This density is the classical charge required to generate the Kuhn-Sham potential. It can be shown analytically that the corresponding total charge for a system of n electrons is equal to n minus 1. We ensure that this total charge is itself discontinuous with n, as the number of electrons within the system increases infinitesimally. This total Kohn-Sham charge increases by 1. The effect on the corresponding Kohn-Sham potential is a discontinuous shift, like seen within the exact Kohn-Sham system. Note that in order to calculate the magnitude of this shift and therefore the fundamental gap, one need only perform a single Kuhn-Sham calculation. There are other shifts that occur in the Kuhn-Sham potential upon uncharged excitation. For example, one can obtain the optical gap via the shift in the Kuhn-Sham potential when an electron is excited from the HOMO to the LUMO. Here we have a donor accept complex. When the system is excited, an electron is transferred from the donor to the acceptor. We demonstrated that within the exact Kuhn-Sham system, regardless of the complexity of the system, upon the infinitesimal transfer of charge, the Kuhn-Sham potential experiences a discontinuous shift by a constant delta Ct. This constant shift in the Kuhn-Sham potential relates the Kuhn-Sham charge transfer energy to the many-body charge transfer energy. Note that in order to obtain delta Ct, one does not need to model the transfer of an infinitesimal amount of charge in this system. Delta Ct can instead be calculated from the constrained potential, like the fundamental gap, and therefore a single Kuhn-Sham calculation is all that is needed. Moving forward, we will construct constraints capable of capturing these discontinuous shifts in the Kuhn-Sham potential that correspond to uncharged excitation. In conclusion, in principle, the Kuhn-Sham system of non-interacting electrons can yield exact many-body excitation energies through discontinuous constant shifts in the Kuhn-Sham potential that occur when the Kuhn-Sham system is excited. 
For example, upon charge transfer or the addition of an electron. We constrain the commonly used local density approximation in order to capture this discontinuous behaviour. Future work will focus on the development of these constraints so that reliable excitation energies such as the fundamental gap, charge transfer energy and the optical gap can be obtained directly from a single Kunshamp calculation.